Hi there, I'm Mark Thewlis, Director of Retail and FMCG at Decision Inc. Australia. I'd like to welcome you to this episode of our Executive Education Series, Data and Analytics for Executives. In this episode, we'll discuss why data and analytics is important to your business right now, how to assess the current level of data maturity in your organization, and how to use data and analytics to gain a competitive advantage. We all know the business world has changed as a result of the COVID-19 crisis. Customer expectations have changed. Business processes have changed. Businesses are experiencing significant labor shortages or changes to the work environment. Supply chain constraints persist and may not return to pre-COVID levels for some time. What worked well in the past isn't likely to be the best way forward from here. A recent report by CEO Research found that 78% of businesses chose analytics as one of their top three game-changer technologies to emerge stronger from the COVID crisis. 69% chose artificial intelligence. Our own internal data shows an almost 40% increase in analytic investment in the last six months versus the same period last year, and an 80% increase in inquiries on cloud analytics and AI platforms. Data within your business and the analytics it can produce are allowing businesses to make better, more informed decisions faster than their competitors. Companies that invested in digital transformation earlier are being rewarded as they're able to adapt more quickly to the changing shape of markets. What if you didn't invest early? Where do you start? Firstly, it's important to point out the digital transformation is not only about technology, it relates to all elements of your business. We at Decision Inc. generally like to start by assessing your current level of data maturity. We do this by focusing on five key areas. Firstly, do you have a strategy and a roadmap for analytics which is aligned to your business strategy? Number two, data platform. What data do you have? Where is it? How much work is required to have it ready for business analytics? Is it scalable? Number three, capabilities. What skills and resources do we have or need to achieve our goals? What training is required? And what are the other constraints holding us back? Number four, insights. What are the areas of the business to focus our attention on to generate the insights required to make the decisions that'll drive the business forward and generate the most value. And lastly, data disciplines. What are the processes and controls that are in place to ensure best practices are achieved? With the right digital strategy and roadmap for success, you should be well on your way to having a true competitive advantage on those who remain behind. Those advantages come about by transitioning the business from making decisions based on historical data and asking yourself what happened to interpreting true insights that give you the foresight to predict what will happen and most importantly, how to make that happen. That's all for this episode of our executive education series, Data and Analytics for Executives. In the next episode, we'll take a deep dive into frameworks, definitions, and platforms.